done a fantastic job whilst I've been away. So I just want to take him to the next level where we can just fire his imagination with the boys. So I created a game for them so they could all have fun together. You are all space cadets and today you have a mission. Read what the mission is, Michael. Your ship has crashed on an alien planet. You must work together to collect 10 energy blocks to fix your broken engine. You will find it along the way to lead you to the rocks. Which means you're going to need to put space outfits on. It means your commander is going to need to put an outfit on. Okay, follow me. Follow me. When I saw my costume, I figured, okay, it was going to be something pretty embarrassing for me. This is our first clue. Go to the bathroom to find the first energy block. All right, cadets. Let's go. You feel a little silly going through it, but I think it's good that they see that I support that type of plan. Good job, cadets. Show them. Place the first energy rock on our engine for our space craft here. Here is a clue to find the next energy rock. You must work as a team. Look behind the alien box that is green. I think it's incredibly important to spark that imagination. Be careful, be careful on this planet. For them to be able to socialize together as siblings. <gasps> participating in this imaginative play and actually enjoying it. When I open it, run away quick. Go! Whoa! It was very far. Congratulations! You have found all the energy rocks. Sean, hit the ignition. All right, follow me. And then Dad led his boys on a space flight through the backyard. That was definitely fun doing something like that together. The mission was absolutely a success. To the door! Mission completed. Boys, I have something for you. These boys have absolutely loved recapping memories of themselves with their mother on a slideshow. But because they're grieving, I do want to give them something just a little bit more personal. I thought I would give you your own photo album. Michael, Sean, and Dylan, this one's yours. So that was me crying. How tiny you are, Yeah. Look, you're on Mum's shoulders. I think it's a great idea to have their own personal photo album. If they're feeling a little sad or, you know, just want to see pictures of their mother, I think it's great that they can just go grab the book and just flip through pictures of them with their mom. You look like Mummy. Yeah. Look at Mummy's cheeky smile. <laughs> they were perfect. That was Absolute pleasure coming here and being able to help you. It really has. Absolute pleasure. Thank you so much. It's Sensing Jugga. She helped us out with so much. The future looks great from here on out. Bye bye, love. Yeah, I'm gonna miss you too. I'm gonna miss Jojo because she was a really nice girl. Bye, darling. Clever. We're coming to kiss. Bye bye, Jojo. Bye, Jojo. Take care. Bye, Gary. Bye, Jojo. Thank you. I believe the Evans family are going to be totally okay. You've got to take your hand off to a parent who puts that commitment in and that effort. And Gary's done that with his family. I certainly believe that there is one proud mother looking down from above at her husband and sounding her voice. If you or someone you know is struggling with the everyday challenges of raising a family after the loss of a loved one to cancer, you're not alone. Be courageous and reach out to the American Cancer Society where you will be helped.